What's going on, the truckers? So today I got to go to the shop. Uh, Jenna's Jeep didn't quite break down, but it basically, it kind of messed up. The gas tank was leaking, so I had to go buy a gas tank. And now I have my parents, which are backing up. Uh, go take me to my buddy's shop. What is going on with the truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because on this channel we give you information and we interview CEOs of companies and we give you the pay stubs from truck drivers just to get you on your way with your trucking career. So, so today, before we start today's video, I just want to let you know that if you need to reach out to me at all, I'm here for you, man. We do it live. Email me, text me, I'll put my information out. I'm sorry I don't pick up phone calls all the time, but I will get back to you. I'm just here to help you out. My information is your information, and I'm definitely not gonna charge you for it. So, just here to help out the trucking community. Right here is uh, Jenna's Jeep. <laughs> and uh, I was taking it for a joy ride the other day, and basically, I went over something, and I actually cracked the tank. And it was leaking. I actually didn't tell her so Jenna if you're watching this I am so sorry I did not mean to do that to you but uh, <laughs> my boy put on the tank for me and so he plugged me so you know this isn't a paid promotion or anything I just want to let you guys know about uh, leasing and 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 the good the bad and the ugly with that so I'm out here doing a video right now and you know I got this beautiful couple right here what's going on Chilling, chilling, chilling. So they're going out. I mean, shit, man. I This is not a paid promotion. I'm just out here doing a video. And uh, uh, some subscribers that watch the show are actually picking up a truck today. So that's, yep. that's crazy, man. So, you know, what led you to want to come here to buy a truck, bro? Seriously. You know, I saw some videos and uh, I saw you were here with your uh Yeah, your my wife. boy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You brought yeah. your truck over here and um, I started looking at their website and uh, I spoke to Matt. Yeah, yeah, that's so he gave me an idea and uh, the numbers are good and uh, what they offer it's everything is looking really good for us you know if the truck breaks down something happens they will still be able to fix it for us oh, yeah. and everything so it's uh, it's been quite a right to get to this point and uh, i'm telling everybody out there you know this is not big promotion i'm not he's not paying you're not paying me nothing <laughs> hey i don't know you guys are a good looking couple though so, so it's, it seemed like it yeah <laughs> so um really take a look at you at these guys are i'm leasing you know this place to be at and i'm telling you you know, do things right and you'll definitely get out of here with a truck. Oh shit, man. I, hey, I really wish you guys the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, half of it's hard. The other half is doing the research. And, you know, I feel like you got a, a good thing going and I would love to have you on the show. We, we could talk more about the contracts and what you guys are doing after and how you guys are successful. That'd be cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get off air. I'm going to plug this off right now and we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Hell yeah. All right. So that's like the coolest shit ever. You know, I'm out here just doing a damn video and, uh, you know, a subscriber is here and he's finding success. So, God damn it. This just sounds so much like a damn scripted promotion. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. I was just out here doing videos and uh, a subscriber came up and wanted to show some love. So, how cool is that? And, Definitely to the lovely couple, uh, I definitely wish you guys the best and hope that everything works out for you. I really do. All right, so I just want to put a disclaimer. If you do not know what you're doing, you will fail in trucking. I don't care who you are. All right, if you have good credit, if you have bad credit, if you don't have a strong game plan, right, and you just don't have a blueprint, you are going to fail with your own authority. I'm going to say that straight up, okay? Now, here's the thing. If you're considering buying a truck, I don't care if you're gonna lease a truck, I don't care if you're going to buy it and get a loan through the bank, right? Of course, I would recommend do your research and make sure whatever you do, it's always gonna be a business move and you do the right move that's gonna work for you, all right? So if we're out here at my buddy Matt's place, right, and we're, we're looking at these trucks, uh, you think to yourself, first off, you're seeing lease and you're thinking lease and you don't know anything about that. Uh, I'm here to tell you exactly the pros and cons of what you want to do right now here's a true fact and go back talk to your accountant for tax purpose reasons this is a business remember that if you buy something especially a truck you're gonna have to write on your taxes as a depreciation now if you buy or if you lease a truck 
right, on your taxes, you can actually write the whole thing off. So just remember that. If you buy the equipment, you're going to have to write on your taxes that it's a depreciation. And if you actually lease at that point, you can write it off. Now, depending on your business structure, that might work for you. That might work against you. But I just want to let you know that. Now, here's another thing. If you have strong working capital, right, you have millions of dollars in the bank, right, how much money do you want to fully invest into trucking, all right? Because when I had good credit and I wanted to buy a truck, they wanted 20% down even though I had great credit. So if I have 20 grand and that's my working capital and they want 20% down on a $60,000 commercial vehicle, guess what's going to happen? I'm not going to have any working capital left. And yes, trucks do break down. So if the damn truck breaks down, I am going to be screwed because I won't have any money, right? So if you're in that situation as well where you don't have any money and if you put down that 20%, don't do that. Now, I'm not telling you to lease either, but just say for this example, right? My buddy Matt, he asked for five to eight grand down, I believe, right? I could plug you with him if you want it. It's up to you. But here's the thing. It's five grand down. If you had 20 grand to work with, you still have 15 grand left, right? Um, his trucks here, we could take a quick look. Um, I believe they are 2000s, right? 2012, 13 to 2016, 17. Okay, they are old trucks, right? Now, here's the thing. New trucks and old trucks break down. That's just the truth. I get my, my truck serviced here, so... I'm letting you know he has legit mechanics. He has a garage. And, you know, they take care of my truck and they do a good job with that. But I'm just telling you from personal experience, right? I'm not getting paid to make this video right now. I'm just plugging you like I usually do. So, if you're a person that doesn't have a lot of working capital and your credit is shit, then there's a great chance that this could work for you. Now, there's a person that would be perfect for this. And I'm gonna name you that person. If you are a truck driver that knows what you're doing, I'm gonna give you an example. I actually had a subscriber, okay? I actually had a subscriber tell me that he's been in the car hauling business for the last five years. And from that, he's worked for another owner operator and he knows how to make the money. And now all he needs is a truck. But because of a divorce, a spotty situations, his credit, not so good. In his scenario, if he buys one of these trucks at 2016 or whatever, and his payments are 15, 1600, don't quote me on those things, right? Then he knows how to run his business. He will succeed. If you don't know what you're doing, don't even think about buying a truck. That's all I got to say.